coming up on Design Science. Getting started on a project can be overwhelming. With a few simple tricks, I'm going to show you how to take the stress out of design and what the most logical steps are to follow. Most people think interior design is all about picking out pretty things. Well, I have a little secret for you. At the heart of every fabulous home design is science. I'm Julie Couch, and I'm here to help you take out the guesswork using tried and true formulas. Together, we'll explore the theories that lead to guaranteed gorgeous interiors. This is Design Science. Getting started on any project can be overwhelming. Space, color, budget, amenities, those are all the elements that you need to think about for your first equation. When you get into the science of designing your house, the most common questions clients ask me are, how does it work? Where do I start? What's my timeline? And how do I determine a budget? I like to start with one key aspect, functionality, and build from there. Getting started on a space plan can be a little daunting, whether you're working on a new build, a renovation, whether you're working with an architect or an interior designer. When I'm thinking about designing a home, the very first thing I think about is the equation of spaces, size of spaces, and how we're gonna use those spaces. You are gonna create zones. Each individual zone will have its own uses. So that could be a public area, a private area, that could be the primary bedroom, kitchen. So those zones that you create are really helpful in knowing if it's an entertaining space, if it's a family space, if it's both. When we were designing this particular home, it was a little more simple because we did have the luxury of creating anything. And in conjunction with that, it is shaped like an H. Since it's shaped like an H, in the lower level, we have the primary bedroom, the owner's office, and then on the opposite side, we have all the public areas. So a breakfast room, a large kitchen, and then right in the center of the H, there's this beautiful salon, which is perfect for entertaining. Even though these clients love to entertain and they have this beautiful big salon that joins all the areas, they also have young children that need lots of space. So they have all the children's rooms upstairs, a bonus room, also a guest room. All those spaces are part of your equation because you want to think, how much am I gonna entertain? How much square footage do I need for entertaining? And how does that work with the rest of the house and the flow of the house? When I'm working with clients, oftentimes I will find out about functionality. What do they need the space to do? Obviously their style and what they want it to look like, but also their budget is a huge factor. When I started planning my own home, it was a little different because there were obviously beautiful things I'd seen that I wanted to incorporate into our spaces. However, we do have small children, so I knew that flow and of course functionality was gonna be the most important. So when I started planning with the architect, we decided to do an H floor plan for the main level. When you come in, you come into a big, open, entertaining space. To one side, the kitchen, the family room, kind of all those public entertaining spaces. And then on the opposite side of the entry is the primary suite. So it's all kind of our more private areas. And with clients, of course, there are many of the same considerations, one being that none of us have an endless budget. 
but we don't wanna sacrifice style. We don't wanna sacrifice our dream room, or our dream finishes. What I like to do is really start as an informed consumer. I have my clients really look at what things are, what things cost, they find their dream space, and when they walk into a showroom, really have the confidence to ask questions, ask about pricing, because oftentimes, if we create a room we love from products we're not really sure about, it can be really disappointing to then have to step back. If we enter into it, for instance, with a primary bath that we're really excited about, maybe we have our heart set on beautiful lighting and some fabulous mirrors, but then maybe we use a simple subway tile in the shower. And that compromise is still really, really beautiful and really intentional, but a great cost savings. And I don't want to give you an algebra equation to solve, but it is really wise to think about math when you're initially planning your space because you want to know where to best allocate those dollars. It is so exciting when you get to start a new project, but at the same time, it can be really overwhelming. There are tons of decisions, there's aesthetic decisions, there's budget decisions. It's really nice to hone in on what are your priorities. The science of knowing where does my money go? How does it work? What's the most important to me? Looking at images with your architect and your designer and analyzing why I like that, why I don't like that, why that would not work for our family. For instance, this home is for a young family, but they want it to grow with them. So we were really interested in timeless finishes, things that could grow, they could change. And we really just would put those dollars and that thought into what made the most sense for them. So when we started planning, we really wanted it to feel open and really comfy, but we also wanted to know that we had invested in things that we would never change like the lighting, like the beams on the ceiling, like those architectural details that you will never get tired of. And one of the most important considerations when you're starting a project is to really think about how you will live in the space. For instance, this is a young family, so everybody needed their own spaces. For instance, there is a beautiful library. The homeowner is a huge reader and we really wanted a special place carved out for her. We decided to do an eat in kitchen because the kids are small and we wanted to really devote some formality to a dining room. And of course, we wanted to work around the gorgeous view of the golf course in this main family room so they can also enjoy that. Treat your home the way you would your body. If it doesn't feel right, get a second opinion and trust your instincts. More next time on Design Science.